I was listening to BDP when suddenly... I don't know what it is about water changes in these guys, but man, they get spunked up over a water change. Turns out we have all males. Yeah, they're all males. That's the only reason why we've never spawned them. If we had a female in the bunch, they would have had babies. Yeah. They do, they do display nice, though, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, they do show their evil colors. <laughs> Sinister. There you go. You ask me why I like them? I, I dig their sinister look. You know? And they also remind me a lot of Big Hendra. I know. There are two stripes on their, on their um, gill flap that reminds me of a male Hendra. Alright, I'm going to ask you a simple question. We do have a female. It's not a female. I don't think it is. She looks. It looks like a female now, but... About a minute ago, she was black with red hash marks on her, on her gills, on her gill covers, and she looked just like the male. Well, I'll look it up tonight if how to. They're very hard to gender. actually sex. The 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 whole complex is difficult to sex. It's a known fact. When you read some of the descriptions of these guys. I mean, it's they show you multiple fish, and yet multiple fish look just like males, and it, they're hard to sex. All right, what? Give me um, since these guys remind us a lot of larger hendra. Yeah. Nathan, tell me what the main difference is between betta forshi and betta hendra. Let's see if you can figure it out. The betta, main one. Betta hendra are bubbleness builders, and betta forshi are mouth brooders. Bingo. Bingo. We're watching. Who said you didn't learn anything about wild betta fish at 11 years old? Who said you didn't? I don't, I don't know a person who did. Because <laughs> there's nobody who knows about them. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll be the one who actually writes a book on wild betta fish. Maybe. Hmm? While you're in college. What do you think about that? Your, write your thesis on wild betta fish. Look at, look at She's this. Green. He or she, whatever. My, my honest opinion is male. Just a young male. I think it's female, but it just like switches colors. It could reason. be a sub male instead of a dom male, like the other two, which are always bickering. Sub, sub, as my dad meant, as the less dominant ones. So, we just did a nice water change on Better Forshi. I'm trying to get their pH down. Last time I tested the pH in this tank, it was about 6.5. So, I'm going to try to get it down a little bit further. And if we do have a female in the bunch, I'm trying to see if I can get them to spawn. I just put a bag of peat moss in the back about a week ago which is softening and probably help lowering the pH a little further. And on these guys, I'm continuing to use the cut of RO and tap water. All right, now here's one that was jet black, just yeah. like the other male. And who looks on Yeah, him. who looks just like what Nathan and I were talking about right here. But yet, yeah, I know for a on fact him. this one's a male. And I know them, the males have red on their gill flank, on their gill covers, but um, who knows? Female might. This have... fish a couple minutes ago was jet black, just like the other two. So, there's Mike, a, get it. Um, there's a pork chop rice border in here just to um, get them out. As he actually does a really good job of that too. The only problem is he's by himself. I might pick up a few more just to break it up a little bit so he has somebody to school with, but he definitely has done a really good job unknowingly in allowing or in getting these guys to come out in the open. These guys were always very shy. And, okay, let's see. Well, she ran, he or she ran away. Yeah. 
there's definitely now, not changing colors. I know the females are known to show more of a golden hash marks on the gill covers than the supposed males, but I'm about as confused as confused could be on how to sex these guys and the more and more I read articles on them, the more and more I realize most people don't really know either and just take a shot. Put in the comments below if you know how to sex them. Yeah, and and um, <clears throat> either way I'm still going to be convinced that I think all three of these guys are males. So, thank you very much for watching, Functional Build Aquatics, and you're catching Betta Forshi, showing me all types of cool coloration right now. We just did a 25% water change on their tank, and man, they seem to react to water changes pretty well. The male and female in Bellis right next to them are staring at them. Like yeah, staring each other down. Hi, neighbor. Thanks, guys. Function Build Aquatics. See you guys. See ya. See ya.